Allen, in my mind, was the greatest interior lineman that has played our game. He had it all in his game. But his contribution is, you've got the talent, now act like you don't have talent. Larry, always strive to be better. When you get there now and he lowers that shoulder on you, be pretty damn physical, okay? Larry Allen was an unheralded, relatively speaking, draft pick. He was from Sonoma State, and I know some of the scouts looked at each other and some of us said, I hope this guy can get it together and be a contributor for the Dallas Cowboys. We've all laughed about that one quite a bit. In his rookie year, Larry Allen was much more than a contributor. Second and nine. Against New Orleans, Troy Aikman was intercepted by New Orleans linebacker Darren Connor. Inside the 40, the 30. Larry Allen was standing still on the 40-yard line. Larry Allen chased him down. Larry, Larry Allen. Allen! I can't believe that! Give me a break. This guy's got a rocket booster strapped to his back. For a man of his size, he was the toughest, strongest, fastest, quickest man I've ever seen. In Dallas, he played every offensive line position except center and dominated at each one. Hand off Emmett Smith. Oh, look at that hole. He'll score. Emmett Smith dances to the end zone. Aikman straight back to pass. Hands all day. Throws to Michael Irvin. Touchdown, Cowboys. On a powerful team, Allen's strength was the stuff of legend. Larry Allen bench press 700 pounds. Now that's world class lifting. Forget football. But that's the kind of strength he had. Sometimes when watching coaches tape of Larry Allen plays, you'd see a remarkable thing. He would knock the opposing defensive player completely out of the frame. Larry was a tenacious competitor whose goal in every game was to make the guy across from him quit. Everybody want to test themselves against Larry Allen? Bad man. Bad man. He's a cannibal. His size and strength were matched by his resume. A Super Bowl champion. Hand off Emmett Smith on the right-hand side. Touchdown. The Cowboys are celebrating this one. An 11-time Pro Bowler and a member of all-decade teams in both the 1990s and 2000s. First of all, Larry Allen's a Hall of Famer because he was a, really a great player. Secondly, he's an outstanding person that has all the things that we look at in America. He's overcome adversity. He's taking advantage of every opportunity that he's ever gotten. He's used his God-given talents and he's been an overachiever with them. On behalf of all Dallas Cowboy fans, all over the country and all over the world, Larry, we want you to know how proud we are of you. I'm honored to present Larry Allen for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Larry Allen into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Jerry Jones. about them cowboys. <laughs> uh, during the career, my career, I didn't talk that much. But I didn't have to. I used my helmet. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so later on in this speech, I'm gonna need some help from my Dallas Cowboy fans. So when I say... <laughs> So when I say, how about them Cowboys, I need you to scream loud as you can. Well, first I'd like to thank Jerry Jones for that amazing introduction. He's been like a father figure to me. And whenever I needed his help, he was there to help me. I'd also like to thank his beautiful wife, Jean Jones, his children, Charlotte, Jerry Jr., and Stephen and the rest of his family. I'd also like to thank Marilyn Love, 
and uh, Rich Dalry. Of course, I want to thank my heart and soul, my wife, Janelle. On our first date, she cooked for me. She cooked me two chickens, french fries, baked me a cake, <laughs> and gave me a 40 ounce. <laughs> I knew the end, that was my wife right there. <laughs> She has blessed me with three beautiful children. Jayla Allen, she's a talented actress and a writer. She helped me write this speech. I remember when she was a little girl, she would have a bad game. She was sensitive. She'd come up to me and say, Daddy, what's wrong? She was about four years old. She would bring me cookies, cakes, just try to cheer me up. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be going to Pepperdine University this year. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of my little mama, and I hope she'll turn to it. I know she's going to be an amazing woman. My youngest, Loriana Allen, she's a basketball player. She's kind of like LeBron James, she's pretty good. <laughs> Um, she's the funniest person I know. She makes me laugh all the time. To my son, Larry Allen III. <laughs> He's a 6'4", 290-pound offensive lineman that plays at De La Salle High School, the number one <laughs> The, num the number one team in California. He's the smartest person I know. And I'm proud of him, son. He's very polite, but when, once he gets on that field, he's a beast, just like his dad. <laughs> I also want to thank my mother, Vera Allen. She can't be here tonight. She passed away. I know she's down, looking, da looking down on me, smiling. When I was a young boy, my little brother got into a fight, and I went to protect him. Growing up in Compton, California, so it was kind of, it was rough out there. So. I was protecting my little brother, but the guy, he was a little older than me, he ended up stabbing me. Three months later, my mother said, I'm not raising any punks. So she made me fight this guy three, she said, you will fight him until you win. First day I lost, second day I lost. The third day I finally won. That was one of the most valuable lessons I learned in my life. Never to back down from anybody. I carried that lesson through my whole career. I just knew I had to win every play. And that's the reason why I'm here today. <laughs> I also like to thank my father. On the other hand, he taught me to never get mad, but to get even. <laughs> to control my temper. I also use that in the game of, game of football. I know if I lost a play, I had 45 seconds to get even. I to say thank you to my brother Vine. Happy birthday, little brother.
After every game, I knew when I checked my phone, I would receive a text from him telling me how good I did. I want to say thank you. Another lady who made a huge impact on my life was my grandmother, Bertha Lee Dodson. She was a hard-working woman. She owned three successful restaurants in Los Angeles. She spoiled me to death, gave me whatever I wanted. But she taught me you have to work for what you got. When I was 14, she sat me down. She said, Larry, you need to find out what you're good at and go do it. I think I did that, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> About two months later, it was my first year of football. I was a junior at Centennial High School in Compton, California. My senior year, I moved to Napa Valley, went to Vintage High School. Made a good friend there. His name was Steve Hack. He was like my brother. He said, come on, come live with us. And his family, um, they treated me like they were, I was one of their own. I'd like to thank you. <laughs> the next year I went to Butte, Col Butte Junior College, Chico, California. Big party school, I had a lot of fun up there. <laughs> it was great. Next year, I attended Sonoma State University. When Frank Scalarisio called me, I didn't have the grades to transfer out to JC. He said, I can get you in the school. Um, the rest is history. He got me in the school. It turned out great for me. I was fortunate enough to be drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I remember getting a call from Jerry saying, son, would you like to be a Cowboy? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, ran out of my apartment, jumped in the swimming pool with all my clothes on. <laughs> When I got to Dallas, they just won two Super Bowls. They had the best player at every position. I was a rookie. I didn't start. It was the first time in my life I didn't start. So what I did was learn. I learned from a lot of great players, like Eric Williams, Derek Kennard, Mark Stepnowski, Nate Newton, Ray Donaldson, and the great Mark Tuanet, who I know is looking down here today. All these great linemen took me under their wing and they helped me. I'd like to say thank you to all of them. I also practice against great players like Charles Haley who should be, in the, should be in the Hall of Fame, I think. <laughs> Russell Maryland, Leon Lett, Tony Tolbert, Dexter Copeland, Greg Ellis, Robert Jones, Darren Woodson, and Chad Hennings. Thanks, guys. You helped me. <laughs> and now to the Cowboy Hall of Famers I played with. Troy Aikman. You showed me how to come to work every day and be a professional. I thank you. Michael Irvin. Nobody practiced harder than Michael Irvin. Deion Sanders. He showed me it was all right to be the best. <laughs> and Emma Smith, the all-time leading rush. I thank you. Been a great friend to me. Growing up in LA, the Rams, 
were the team I watched. My favorite, favorite childhood player was Jackie Slater. Mr. Slater, could you st please stand up? I want to say thank you. I really appreciate it whatever, for everything you did for me. To Hudson Hall, my offensive line coach at Dallas. I love him and I want to, want to thank him for spending all that extra time helping me become a Hall of Fame player. I'm the fourth Hall of Famer Hudson, Hudson Hall coach. I don't know how you nominate somebody, but I think it'll be a great addition. Other coaches that helped me throughout my career, Ernie Zampese, Norv Turner, Chan Gailey, George Warhawk, and Joe Alvazano. I know he's looking down on us also. <laughs> And I'd also like to thank my first head coach, Barry Switzer. I'd also like to thank the scouting de department for coming to get me in Sonoma State. Um, <laughs> Larry Lacewell. I'd also like to thank the training staff, Jim Mauer, Britt Brown, and Greg, and also the equipment crew. Mike and Buck. I also like to thank Joe Horrigan and the Hall of Fame staff for making this, helping us plan this weekend. At dinner, he brought up a story about a game I had against the great Reggie White. I have never been domin dominated like that before in my life. So I got in that weight room and became the strongest man in the NFL. I did it naturally. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, it's funny, once I bench 700 pounds, it tells me twice a week for the rest of my career. <laughs> <laughs> and my goal was simple to earn a seven word letter called respect it's the respect of my um, teammates opponents and the NFL today my mission is complete I also played hard, whistle to whistle, to make my opponent submit. And today, I'm submitting to you. I just can't wait to see my bus. I hope it has a dip in it. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> Finally, I just want to say thank you to the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame voters, and the city of Canyon. And let me be a part of this outstanding fraternity of men. I've been blessed to play the game I love. And remember this, it has never been about me, Larry Allen, but the many, many we's that helped me out. And as you know, I'm nervous up here. <laughs> so if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. Thank you and God bless.